What's going on guys? Zuko back with another War Within video. Hope you're all doing very well. We are going to show you a delve today. I'm very excited about this. This is the new feature, of course, coming to the War Within. This is the War Within's major um, hook, actually. This is the big feature that that has going to, hopefully, is going to pull players in. Of course, they're doing the um, extra hero talents as well. That's the big gameplay feature. But in terms of, like, the new sort of big you know, uh, what used to be like war fronts or island expeditions, you know, Torghast. This is that final, the newest iteration of that line of, of um, features that Blizzard has introduced to the game. There are delves all over the world. There are 12 in total. Okay. So right here in Hallowfall, there are four. One, two, three, four. They're marked by these little doors. Very. I'm not sure if this map is going to stay permanent, by the way. This is just alpha, so... Take it with a grain of salt. There are 12 delves scattered around the, the new island that we're going to be going to. Kazalgar, I guess. There are multiple storylines actually within each delve, which is kind of cool. And I think it's going to change from week to week. Um, so you can see uh, Delver with the Depths. I've I'm completed uh, all the different delves here. I just ran through all of them. And I'm going to show you one delve today and help you understand um, kind of what it's all about. Okay, so... This one I want to introduce to you is the sinkhole, and it is in this zone here, uh, Hallowfall, and then you have to fly up. You don't have to fly in here, but I'm going to show you this kind of epic entrance here. We're going to go right down into the sinkhole. You can see how far down this goes. It is really cool. It just keeps going down and down and down and down we go into the sinkhole, and then we end up right over here, and there is an NPC here. Who can help you get back up to the top you ask for an airship rescue and they will take you back up to the top because that is a long way to go down when you approach a delve there is a sort of shadowy door here and it'll just say enter delve and as blizzard has said before um these are supposed to be seamless there's no load screens you just click on this and you just go okay it's got cool little art here it has tiers of difficulty and it also shows you what sort of affixes exist inside each delve from what i can see right now between the 12 different delves there's about four major affixes which is going to be this aquatic hex there's this one plus three other ones so there's like exploding spores inside the fungal ones uh there's like webs on the ground that if you touch them they're going to spawn spiders there's a couple of different kinds there's a candle one with the cobalt theme ones where you have to you have to hold on to a candle very very cool okay and then there's going to be like combat um, mechanics that are going to scale with the difficulty of the delve. You can see tier two enemies have more health and deal more damage. And then there's additional traps and challenges. Okay. My rewards, player experience, and spoils. Here are the tiers of difficulty. This is pretty funny, actually. Tier one's minimal challenge. Tier two is moderate. And then it goes item level. You can see it keeps going up with item level. And then when you get to number 11, it says recommended for adventurers who want unfathomable challenge. This is pretty hilarious. I mean, this is a, it, I guess it's going to be very, very difficult. So one thing that I do appreciate about that is that I'm, you know, I'm a player who appreciates these kinds of challenges. I'm going to want to push the limits of this and, and really see what's going on. And uh, I think you're going to be able to do that, which is very, very cool. Let's hit enter and see what happens. Uh, it didn't work because we're on a, oh, there we go. It worked. There we go. Okay. Just took a second. So on in the real game, it's probably not going to take that long, but it does just load everything just like that. Okay. And now I'm in. Now I have to jump down another sinkhole, of course, because this is called the sinkhole. Down we go into the water where Bran is waiting for us. And there's a little pack here. You're going to click on this. This is going to help you view Bran Bronzebeard's um, role. You can make him a damage dealer or a healer. Okay. I'm going to go healer for now. Internal air. Love that. Not sure what's going on there. That's fine. And then you can give him combat curios or utility curios. I have acquired a bunch of curios, but um, none of them seem to be working right now, which is fine. You can see I type in curio. That, this is one right here. Okay. This is another one up here. This is another one here. So here's what these do. I'll show you these really quickly. Brand spells and abilities have a chance to render enemies fragile, increasing their chance to be critically struck. Very cool. I can learn that right now. And it'll add it to my pool of curios that go to brand. Again, I can't equip any of them right now because it's just alpha. When any player takes fatal damage, they're instead turned undead and restore 100% of the maximum health. Very interesting. Okay. And then while out of combat, parties' movement speed is increased by 50%. Upon entering combat, your haste is up by 10%. That's a cool one. So 
as you do these delves, you will acquire these curios. You're going to give them to Bran, and then he's going to, like, level up his combat stats. Also, this pack will allow you to repair whenever you want to. And you can also sell the gear that you have found inside the delve. And let me tell you right now, you can actually farm a lot of gold from these delves. I think that this is going to be a really good source of gold farming for people. You get these little um, chests that will have these things in it that are worth 200 gold each. So snake oil, expensive looking find. Snake oil again. This is just gear that I could equip. There's a pure, pure gold steen. There's another uh, 200 gold. So like I just made, you know... Hundred, like almost 800 gold right there maybe closer to a thousand gold just by selling the stuff there's another 200 just by selling the stuff that i found inside the delve so i genuinely think there's going to be a really really good uh gold farming strategy related to delves now let's go into the sinkhole what's the mechanic for this one well we're going to be underwater and you can see here aquatic hex unable to swim due to a co cobos hex on the area now i do run really quickly so don't worry, it's not underwater. You're like you're not slow like underwater. It's more like Najatar from uh, Cataclysm. Now I also have a breath meter. Okay, there are going to be bubbles that I'm going to have to find, and these bubbles are going to give me my breath back, which is going to be a key mechanic inside this delve in particular. This is like the main mechanic for this delve is this breath thing. This little egg back here is something that Bran will spawn. Whenever I CC a mob, Bran spawns an egg. That egg will eventually turn into a devil sore. The devil sore will fear nearby enemies. So it's very cool. I'll do it. I'll do it here. Do it right here. We'll crowd control these guys. Uh, oh, it might, it might have an internal cooldown. That's fine. So there's a breath mechanic on this one. And then the main objective that I have to do here is to rescue all of these guys who are stuck down here. These, these Arathi captives. Okay. I'm going to go over here and get my breath back really quickly. There we go. You can see my breath meter filling up at the top there. Very important. And um, this again. Did I mess up my sundering? I must have messed up my sundering. This should have gotten cooldown reduction. Yeah, I messed it up. So Bran right now is a healer. He is a hunter, but he's healing me. I pick up these little packs and he's going to keep healing me, which is very cool. We love that. And uh, you can also have him dealing damage. So <clears throat> if you want to run in here... As a healer, if you prefer to play this game as a healer, no problem. Run in here with Bran, and he'll be a damage dealer, and you, you're you going to keep him alive. Okay, that's going to be huge. Now, I do think it's probably going to be a bit quicker for you to play this as a damage dealer and have Bran healing you, because his heals are pretty good. I will say that. His heals are actually quite strong. And um, But the other cool thing about this is you can play this... Uh, with up to five players you can bring all your buddies in here i could just jump down there by the way if i want to i'm going to play this the normal way but i i promise you i can just jump down there we're going to run down here though but yeah you can play this with five uh buddies which is really cool you can do this like a dungeon if you want to now it's going to scale to the difficulty that you're looking at there um which is fine but you can have fun with your with your friends and i think you are still you will still get brand bronzebeard helping you He'll be that sixth man, I guess, basically, which is kind of interesting. Let's get a big pull going here. Let's get Rocky out. Do this. Get our totem down. Boom. I am playing Totemic right now, if you're wondering. Totemic Enhancement Shaman. There we go. Brand just gave me like an emergency heal right there. So you can see the damage here is actually pretty substantial. It's not, they're not goofing around. This is only tier two. And again, I don't have a lot of gear. Like, remember, you're going to be at 500 item level or higher walking in here. So I do think that it's going to be much, much easier um, at like tier level two or whatever for you. But um, it scales. And I love that it scales. There's going to be a challenge going on uh, all the way up until the end of the expansion. Hopefully that these delves are going to last that long. That would be kind of cool. Let me get some more rescue guys here. I'm actually going to avoid that breath over there because it's going to... I went and got that breath thing in the corner over there last time and I got stuck there for like a while. Bran just gave me some leather. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to talk about that for a second. So there are mining nodes and herbalism nodes and then there are enemies that Bran can skin. And even if you don't have any professions at all, 
Bran will go and mine those nodes. He'll get the herbalism nodes. He'll get them all. And he will give you resources. Oh, I'm going to fall off the edge. Oh, my God. Ooh, that was close. Which is really, really cool. And I think that this is a great little feature they've added. So you can essentially get a bunch of resources for free from Bran um, without even having to be a profession person at all. I think that's great. Um, and... Uh, it's also going to give you money because you can take all these things and send them to the auction house, which is awesome. There's another node down here, I think. I'll try and show you in a second. So you're just progressing your main little quest here. You can see on the, on the right side, I have two out of eight Arathi. Wait, why do I only have two out of eight? I've gotten way more than two. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Oh, I messed it up again. I used my Sundering early. Like a dummy. Brand's got to heal me. I'll just heal myself a little bit. There we go. Brand's like emergency heals on cooldown. I don't know why I only have two out of eight. Maybe I'm not holding them long enough. There's three out of eight. Brand just said interesting over here. He just found something. I think this is archaeology. There are like little stone tablets that'll appear down here. And Brand keeps running up to them and he goes interesting. And then he like mines it. And I'm pretty sure it's an archaeology thing. Because nothing happens after that. Once he mines it, nothing actually happens. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm pretty sure that it's just an archaeology thing. And I don't have archaeology on this character. Therefore, I can't see kind of what's going on. Here's, uh, I, I'm, I need two more. There's, or three more. Here's what's really cool. They put way more, um, objectives inside of this than you actually need. So, for example, I have to, I have to rescue eight Arathi dudes. There's probably, like, 15 of them in here. And so I don't have to rescue every single one of them. I can skip a few or I can, if I accidentally skip a few, it's all good. So I really like that by the designers. I think that's a great um, thing that they've added because then you don't feel forced to like backtrack. If you missed, if you missed an Arathi on your way down here, you're, you don't have to backtrack at all because there's more than enough to help you um, get it done. I really appreciate that by the developers actually. Okay. Here we go. Here's our last one right here. And then there's a little stone here. This is our uh, respawn point. So we found a respawn point. And look at that. It actually comes with an Explorer's League thing. I can change Brand's combat role right now if I wanted to. If I was like, ah, I don't need him to be a healer anymore. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and make him a DPS now. You can do that. I don't really know why you'd ever want to do that. But that's something that you can do. And then you can also repair. You can actually hit this and you can repair if you've taken a lot of damage. And you can sell all the stuff that you found if your bags are getting clogged up. So very, very nice. Little respawn point. Now, here's the final gauntlet of this one. There's a rare here. There's also rares down here. We're going to kill this guy. I'm actually going to lust this guy because he is... Oh, God. I'm, I'm dead now. Yeah, he knocked me off the edge. <laughs> Whoops. I should have... I knew he was going to knock me off the edge. I, and I lost it from the, okay, there's our respawn point. We're good. Uh, that's a great time to show you the respawn point. So, uh, I, I got knocked off there. I gotta be careful. He jumps behind you and he actually will knock you off the edge. So I'm going to be careful where I'm at. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. Yeah. No knock back for you. You dummy. I got to jump back. He is doing a little, this guy's very dangerous. And I think that genuinely speaking, you're going to want to have like some kind of, um, you're going to want to use your defensive here. You might want to use Bloodlust. Bloodlust would be good. I'm going to save my kick here. He's going to knock me off. And then I'm going to kick him right away. You got to... You do have to... You do have to be a little careful on this guy in particular. He's very dangerous. Get our totem out again. There we go. Let's heal ourselves. Brand's healing me. And we got him. All right. Now, he's going to give me a power. And there are Torghast-like powers that you get. There's actually chests that you can find. I didn't find any in this one, but in other ones are increased maximum health and haste. So there you go. There's a big power. Now we're going to be all juiced up. I'm going to go get uh, this breath thing. And then we're going to run past the rest of this gauntlet. But there's mini bosses in here. There's chests that give you powers. There's chests that are going to give you um, gold, like I showed you earlier. I think on average, you could probably earn something like 800 to 1,000 gold per delve that you do and you can just keep doing them over and over and over again if you want to so i think that's a awesome little feature dude not cool i don't know what that is right now there we go okay now i gotta go kill the uh, final guy at the end 
There's also a little puzzle I can do over here. I'll show you that in a second. I'll show you this puzzle. They've really incorporated kind of everything, I would say, from what they learned, I think, in like Torghast and in all the other game modes that they've tried to introduce. I feel like this is kind of that culmination of a lot of this stuff, which is awesome. I think it's, I think it's really fun. And not only that, but it's gonna be profitable for you money-wise. And I'm gonna show you the rest of the rewards at the end here in a minute, once, once we're done. I'm gonna show you all the rewards that you can get, not only from just completing one of these things, but also um, there's currencies that you're gonna earn that you can spend with the Explorer League. And I'll show you that in a, once we get done this. It's very, very cool. Here's this puzzle here. We're gonna try this. This is just like every other puzzle you've seen. I'm gonna put myself on the spot here and we're gonna do it. This is like an untangle the web uh, puzzle. Oh God, uh, I don't generally don't know what to do with this one. Let's move you like down here. There we go. And you can go down here and then you need to go like up there. Oh no, that's just mixing them up again. Uh, you go over here. There we go. Did it. All right. So that's it. That's like a puzzle that you can solve and you'll get a power from it. There we go. Uh, creates a barrier that absorbs 2 million damage for a minute. Upon expiration, it will explode. Cool. So I have a really big shield now. Let's go. Again, they don't really want this to be like until you climb to the higher levels of this experience. I don't think it's really going to matter what you do with these kinds of uh, powers, right? Once you get to like tier 10, tier 11, where it's unfathomably challenging, I do think that you're gonna really need to be careful about, there, I just got some leather from Bran. Oh, here's a chest I just walked past. You're gonna have to be careful at the higher levels, what you do with those powers. Here's a chest, it's got a power as well, increased maximum health and haste once again. So that's a bit of a repeat there, but there are different uh, quests, there are different things. There, I got my breath back. I was about to lose all my breath there. Here's the boss fight. Let's get him. Let's summon Rocky. Here we go. Get some damage going. Big damage. We're doing 500,000 damage right now, by the way. Uh, Totemic Shaman, even though it's kind of not in a completely finished state right now, I think it's in a, it's still looking pretty good to me. And he's dead. Boom. So that was, again, I did have a buff there as well, right? So I kind of carried that buff into me. There we go. And the treasure room will be revealed by Bran. This is going to take him a second. There we go. And he's going to dynamite this. And there we go. We get to go to the treasure room. And then in the treasure room, you're going to get uh, gold again. So you get about 120 gold, 150 gold just in the treasure room itself. And then there's going to be trunks that are going to have gear in them. Again, this gear will be good for leveling. I don't think it's going to be good once you get to like Mythic Plus and stuff. But you can see the item level is actually pretty relevant for me. There's an upgrade right there. I could put those boots on. And now that we're done, we could go back. And if we think we missed a chest or something, you could go back and try to find it. But um, we're just going to take the little helicopter thing and get out of here. There's a little Levo bot 7,000. Click on him, and then you're going to leave. That's an example of a delve right there. Now, I was really taking my time, so that, you know, but I would say on average, these delves are going to be about 15 minutes for you if you're going at a decent pace. Then we walk to the door, and we hit leave the delve, and we immediately are going to snap back into the rest of the regular world again. Boom. We walk out. We're not instanced anymore. We can just run out of here. There's, um, yeah. So... That's that there. And you can see if I just type in like herb, let's look at herb. These are the herbs that Bran has collected for me. I don't have herbalism at all. I, I don't have herbalism in the new expansion. So I've gotten the, this was not from one delve. This is from several delves, but these are herbs that I got from Bran. And if we look at ore that he's gotten me, there's a bunch of ore as well. There's some right there. I don't know, maybe, maybe there's only three. Oh no, I got an iron claw ore. I don't even know what that is. It's got different qualities. He even got me a uh, silver quality ore. So this is stuff you can collect from him. There's even rare resources you can get from him um, that are that are like really powerful. Could be sold for a lot. Like profane. Oh, that's just a tinderbox. There's something I forget where it is. Somewhere. Anyway, my point is you don't even have to have crafting at all, and Brand's going to support you in that way and allow you to get some stuff that you could potentially sell on the marketplace or whatever you want. You can also get big cosmetics. I got this Taken candle from one of the Cobalt ones, and there you go. It's a candle on my head. I already have this cosmetic, but that's something you can get as well. Speaking of cosmetics, we'll go to there in a second. I'm going to show you how to get out of here with the airship. There's no animation on this airship yet. You just get zapped to the top again. So I don't know if Blizzard's going to fix that, but that's the example that I'll give you for just the sinkhole that's one delve 
And out of that delve, I probably made a thousand gold, I would say, um, and got some stuff that I can sell in the auction house and potentially got some cosmetics, which is really, really cool. And then you're also going to start getting currency. You can see these resonant crystals that I've gotten here and you can spend these at the like explorers league. It's called the Delvers uh, league. There's like a Delvers headquarters in Dornigal. We're going to go there right now with my hearthstone. And you can spend some of the currency that you are getting and you can buy amazing cosmetics. You can buy really good gear. Um, you can buy all kinds of stuff. So let's run there right now. The uh, inn in Dornigal is right next to the traders. This is it. This is their like area right here. It's called the traders headquarters, Delvers headquarters. Sorry. And it's got all of the Delvers here. Reno Jackson's here. Brand's here. Sir Finley is here, and I don't know where Elise is. If you guys have played Hearthstone, you'll know what I'm talking about. Elise was one of the other explorers. She's not here. I was kind of looking for her, but Reno is going to have airship stuff you can buy. Remember, you are progressing your airship. I'll get to that in a second. He's also going to have full transmogs that you can buy. So if you look at this, if we put all this on, you can buy full sets of gear that are, you know, outdoor world. There's the first set right there. Kind of looks pretty cool, like you're an explorer. And then you can get the second set going on here. This one's going to have a little candle on it. So that, that one looks a little bit cooler, in my opinion. It's got the cool candle. Then there's, like, more of a, uh, like, a, looks a little bit more tankier. So like, there's entire sets of gear that you can buy that are, that look pretty cool. There's weapon transmogs you can get. There's, like, daggers. And there's a shield. There's a great axe. There's a sword. Pretty cool looking sword, actually. There's a, lots of stuff. So there's a crossbow. There's a big two-handed sword there. So, yeah, guys, there's a bunch of stuff you can buy from Reno Jackson. He also has airship stuff, as I said before. The airship I'll get to, again, in just one minute. Sir Finley also has stuff you can buy with a different currency. This is Undercoin. And I this feels to me like it's a little bit rarer than the um, the Resonant Crystals. The Resonant Crystals, I already have a 1,000 of these suckers. So... Um, you could easily buy your airship upgrades and, and stuff like that. I don't have enough um, experience. I can't get that yet. But Sir Finley has a different currency called Undercoin. This looks like it's got um, some like toys and some more rare kind of cosmetics you can get. There's big airship upgrades you can get as well, which is going to be really cool. And then there's like legit gear you can get for your warband. Remember, you're going to have items that you can get that are shared amongst your four warband characters. So you can go delving on your main character and then go buy warband equipment for your alts, which is really cool. I don't know how plentiful the undercoin is going to be, but um, this is really, really cool. The upgrades here are going to be awesome. Heading into this expansion, we are going to be like item level 500, basically. Um, 510, actually 520, I guess, is where we'll end up being by the end of the current expansion in Dragonflight. So 567 is a pretty big upgrade just at the at the lower level, but there's some really big gear here you can get. Um, very, very cool stuff. And he has airship stuff. And yes, I've said it multiple times. There is a new Delve tab right here, and it's going to show you your reputation with Delve, okay? As far as I understand right now, this is just like any other reputation in the game. You're going to do delves. You're going to get reputation, okay? We're not getting any right now. And then there are like tracks that you're going to slowly upgrade. You may acquire the lantern wing schematic for your airship from, from Sir Finley. So very cool. You may acquire the multi-exhaust schematic for your airship. Remember, delves, the, the very sort of the biggest cosmetic thing that you're getting out of delves is an airship that you can fly around in the um, in Kazal Ghul, Kazal Gar, sorry. And um, you're going to get a bunch of stuff to here from it. Now, you can also get cosmetics. You can get a trusty hat from Sir Finley. And you can also get these coffer keys from Sir Finley. I don't really know what these do, but you may now purchase restored coffer keys from Sir Finley with a 50% discount. I don't even think he has them here yet. Um, if we just look at all. I, oh, there it is there. Sorry. Gain a uh, restored coffer key used to open a bountiful coffer within a bountiful delve. So I don't even know what that is, but it sounds like maybe you could get lucky. And when you're delving, maybe there's a chance that it becomes a bountiful delve. I have not have one, had one yet. I'm assuming they're just not in the game yet, but that's kind of cool. So if you're delving a lot, chances are you're going to run into this bountiful delve. And then you can, if you've progressed far enough, you can get one of these coffer keys to unlock this really, really cool chest. So that's awesome. Again, uh, any, anything else in this delve system I think is really, really great. Um, love that.
<clears throat> so, and then there's going to be Bran himself. You can configure him again outside of a delve. You can configure Bran. The next time you go in, you can make him a damage dealer or a healer, and you can you can get those curios. As you progress through delves and make it harder and harder, you maybe are going to want to get some very... You're going to want to be conscious about what curios you're giving Bran to make him really powerful, okay? Also, of course, one of the final things that you're going to be getting for delve is a new Great Vault reward track. I can't see it yet, but they have replaced the PvP Great Vault uh, track, and they've replaced it with a delve track. So the gear that you get out of the delve track is never going to be as good item level wise as mythic plus or raid assuming that you're doing you're pushing mythic plus or raid as high as you can for your character but there's still going to be really good rewards and i think early on in the season early in the expansion it's going to be very valuable to go do a bunch of delves and to have some items from the delves that's going to be really good as well so that's it guys that is delves in a nutshell there there's 12 delves in total I will say that there are three different storylines to the delves. Um, it I can't I can't find it here. Unfortunately, I had an achievement, but uh, it's not going to show it to me here. But the bottom line is that for every one of the delves that you do, there's three different storylines that you can do. Okay, and those delves um, they'll have a completely different like get up. So like you go into one and you have to have the candle on your head and you'll have to like walk around and refresh your candle. And then the next time you go in, maybe next week. Um, they'll change the storyline and it won't be about kobolds and doves anymore. It'll have spiders and spider webs. So there's going to be like some really good replayability where each delve that you go into isn't going to have the exact same like mechanic for you to deal with. It's going to have something different and you're going to have to uh, work with that. And that's awesome because it's going to really make it feel more fresh, I think. Um, and as I've seen so far, I believe there's four major mechanics. There's like spores that explode. There's spider webs that spawn spiders. There's the candle that you um, have on your head. And I think there's the breath. And then I don't think there's any other major mechanics that I've seen. And then, of course, there's going to be that scaling, the scaling modifiers that sort of rack up over time. And we'll have to see what else they add. I mean, it's early days in the alpha. I'm not entirely sure what else they're going to add. But um, it, it's looking really, really good. You can customize Bran. You can give him new abilities to make you stronger. Um, you can do this at whatever difficulty you want. If you just want to relax and do it and just farm some gold and farm some reputation, you can just do that. If you want a harder challenge, you can do that. If you want to do it with your friends, you can do that up to five party members can go in here as well. And then there's lots of cosmetic rewards and then other good rewards. And ultimately, you're going to get that airship as well, which is going to be awesome. You can fly that around the whole continent. So let me know what you guys think about Delves heading into the war with him. I think they're really good. I think this is a fantastic system, especially for somebody like me who hates farming gold any other way other than just like killing stuff. Um, I, I wish that I was good at doing professions, but I'm just not. Um, so I think that this is a really, really good one for me where I can farm maybe 800 to 1,000 gold, maybe more as I do these delves and I can um, make my gold that way for all my repairs and stuff and my files that I'm going to be buying and all that nonsense. I, I don't mind doing, doing these delves at all. They look a lot of fun. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much again for watching. I love you all. I will continue to cover more War Within stuff, so stay tuned. See you guys in the next one.